Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nilo and today we're going to be talking about the market conditions that we have been seeing recently with some pullbacks and some general declines on prices. This seems to be a fairly questionable topic and there are some interesting factors, so I think it's a topic worth talking about. Before we get into that, let's take a quick look at our sponsor, Skins Monkey. Today's video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a website you can use to trade in some of your old skins that you don't want anymore for some brand new skins to spice up your inventory. Even if the skin you want is on a trade hold, it'll go straight to your Skins Monkey backpack until it's ready to be withdrawn. If you use code NALO on Skins Monkey, you'll get two different bonuses. First is a $5 trade bonus, and the second is a 5% deposit bonus on top of the deposit bonus they already give you. It's super easy to withdraw the items from Skins Monkey in an instant. As you can see, I have all my trades right here. And even if you don't want to pick up some skins on Skins Monkey, they also have daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways that you can enter completely for free. So what are you waiting for? Go check out Skins Monkey with the link in the description below. Claim your free bonuses courtesy of yours truly, and spice up that inventory. Alright guys, so if you've been following the market for about the past week or so, you may have noticed that a lot of items are starting to drop in price. Now these drops aren't aren't extremely significant, but they are noticeable. I brought this up before, but my Aquamarine Revenge was going for around 150 on Steam, and now it's pulled back to around 112. That's a pretty drastic decline, but then you also have items like the Op Neo Noir, which have barely moved at all, despite also being a fairly liquid skin. But we've seen some declines across the market, and a lot of people are asking what the actual reason for this is. So we're going to look at some different factors and try to piece together why this is happening and how you should react to it. So the first factor that I want to talk about here is going to be the recent drama with the two sites. I don't want to specify what they are because of the, you know, YouTube rules, but I'm sure you've already heard of this drama. If you haven't, my most recent video is about it. This is a factor that I've seen it tossed around for why this market decline might be occurring. And while I do think that there is an argument to be made about it being one of the main factors here, I would not say that it is the reason that the market is declining. Now, while it is definitely scary that Steam is banning a ton of traders, and also we have seen a fair amount of panic, this issue is mostly centralized. The people that are getting banned are putting thousands of dollars through these sites. Some people even tens of thousands. For the vast majority of CSGO traders, that doesn't really include them. Keep in mind that Valve is handing out commercial trading bans, which means trading on a very large scale. So if you're just buying a couple items from Buff here and there, it's not really going to be a big deal. And although we have seen a lot of people in the market be very irrational in the past, in this case I believe a lot of the panic that we've been seeing is centralized around the people that actually have been actively doing this trading on those sites. So I would say as far as this being a factor goes, its effect is probably minimal at best. That's just my opinion on it, that's how I see it, and I'm sure many people will disagree with me. The main evidence that I have to support my point is that the main drama started about two days ago, and the bigger chunk of these declining prices have been happening over the previous week before the drama happens. So while I do think that it could have maybe pushed the skin prices a little bit further down, the overall effect of this is probably pretty minimal. Alright, moving on to the next factor. Now this next factor is just general market fatigue. We have a long way to go before CS2 releases. We're just now seeing we're just now seeing an update that's actually pushed a couple more maps into the pool, and a few new features like the questionable grenade inspect are just now being pushed live. That being said, it's hard to say if CS2 will actually meet its summer release deadline, or if it'll be pushed back. At this point, I would expect it to be pushed back a little bit, but my main point here is that we don't really know. We never had a strict release date in mind in the first place, just some theories, and with a lot of new investors and skin buyers coming at the brunt of the CS2 release news, they've now been in the market for a fairly substantial amount of time without CS2 actually releasing, and without it looking like it's even that close. So I think there's a general level of fatigue that's occurring with a lot of these investors who were pretty impatient and were expecting faster money, but since CS2 hasn't released yet, they may be moving their assets around back to something they used to be interested in before getting into CS skins. Now again, I don't really think this is the main factor, but I think it can contribute to lowering prices. We've specifically seen with items like the M9 Gamma Doppler, as pointed out by this Twitter user, that the daily sales on these items have decreased significantly, which means not as much buying power, and as a result, selling power becomes a little bit more powerful than it really should be. But anyway, let's move on to the next factor. Now this next factor is one that I think is the most likely, and it's simply the fact that the market was just so inflated in the first place. Since the first release of CS2 news, we had the market just absolutely explode. Items became so much more valuable than they previously were, and many people were completely priced out of the CS market in general. We did see some pretty major corrections that brought prices a lot lower than the peak, but nowhere near to the prior values that skins had before the CS2 news released. Now it's very important to understand here that I'm not saying that we don't deserve these prices, or that prices will correct to their pre-CS2 prices. That's likely not going to happen for a 
long time at this point, skins now have more value, because CS2 has a lot of hype behind it, and it has directly increased the value of these skins in a phenotypical way. However, I think the brunt of these declines can still be chalked up to the market just doing simple corrections from the hype, especially with stuff like the Revolution case, for example, which was so inflated for such a long period of time. The M4 Temucau is no longer sitting at $500 plus, it's now around $300. So that's definitely nice to see for someone like myself who wants to pick one up. And in general, with this recent decline of prices, it hasn't really been super major. We're not seeing like 40% declines here, it's more like 10%. Still a significant drop considering how it's basically been over the entire market, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that big of a deal. So as a result, I would say it's mostly due to correction. However, I do think that a lot of factors are contributing to it. Another factor that people have been bringing up is the summer sale, but I've been specifically tracking the steam prices of a lot of important liquids, and the release of the summer sale didn't really affect prices pretty much at all, which is pretty congruent with the video that I made about the summer sale, so I don't really think that's much of a factor at all. However, it could be doing a small part in contributing to it. I do think it's a mixture of things this time around. But with that said, I think that sums up the main factors. So now I'd like to talk about what you should do to react to this. Now as we know, CS2 is on the horizon. That is going to be a huge deal for skins, a huge deal for content in general. There's going to be so many people that are interested in trying out CS2, so many big streamers that are bringing huge viewer bases to the game. It's going to be a real really big event. I don't think anyone is arguing against that. I've seen huge content creators that have never touched CS in their lives saying that they really want to try out CS2. Needless to say, it's going to be important for the skins market. And we know it's coming out. We don't know exactly when it's coming out, but we know for sure that it will come out. That's going to be a huge value gainer for skins in general. So with these declines, especially the recent one, I would heavily consider picking up some liquids now, or one of the myriads of items that I've talked about in my previous videos, and preparing your overarching portfolio for the release of CS2. I don't think we've hit the bottom yet. Yet, but trying to time something like that is pretty futile. So I would say going forward, although I do think that it's possible that skin prices will decline even more, the best strategy going towards CS2 is probably just going to be trying to dollar cost average all of your items. For those of you that don't understand how dollar cost averaging works, is basically taking advantage of dips over time on an investment that you have by buying items at lower prices in the future, even though you already own them at higher prices, in order to average down your overall cost of investment. I think this is probably the best strategy going forward. Trying to predict the bottom of the market is probably not going to be a great idea. And even if you were to buy right now, I still think you'll see significant returns going into CS2. So that's the breakdown. I'd like to hear your opinions in the comments below, since obviously none of this is confirmed and a lot of this is based on just my interpretation and my opinion itself. So let me know what you think about this. If if you'd like to discuss it further, you can always join my Discord or follow me on Twitter. And if you have any questions about different things that you're looking to invest into, you can always DM me and I'll answer all your questions completely for free. If you enjoyed the video guys, be sure to leave a like on it, it helps me a ton and it costs you absolutely nothing. YouTube has been absolutely destroying skin creators recently, so I'd really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the best CS investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. And consider checking out Skins Monkey. I'll see you next time guys, thanks for watching, peace.